Oh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i'm back with another episode of inside the network where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com now this is actually a very special collaboration from brandman network and music entrepreneur club we actually got together answered some live q a questions and this topic in this video right here is spam 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 let's get into it we used to go into forums that you know we thought would be fans of Hobson and we would, he would post his links. I would post his links. Um, but again, it wasn't blind. We knew his target demographic. We knew the people that would probably like his music, you know, Eminem mm -hmm. fans, tech nine fans, stuff like that. Um, so I'm never bothered by spam. I just think a lot of people don't put a lot of effort into what they're doing and they have a very common message or just something that just doesn't stand out and it just looks, lame and it's a waste of time and then like we, <laughs> when we got when we got momentum we took kind of spam to another level and some people might not call it spam but we kind of spammed our way onto the double xl cover right because if we wanted once we got momentum and we got in and, and we had numbers and other people didn't realize we had numbers if we wanted to get the attention of somebody we would have our fans like mm -hmm. at them and, 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 and all of a sudden, somebody that's never heard of us would be in like hundreds or thousands of mentions and, they'd be, and then they would be kind of forced to check us out, right? Because if you log in and you have like a thousand mentions now, you know, the, you're going to check, you're going to see where that came from. So I would often do that to get the attention of certain brands or certain platforms. But that was once we got some momentum. Um, that's like... That's like level three spamming. <laughs> you put levels to it. <laughs> hey, I, I think y'all are touching on something. For me, it's all relative. I think about spam completely different than most people. And to me, spam is generally uh, marketing, most marketing activities, and, and really, because it's all about whether it's welcome or not. If I put something in front of you that you didn't expect, but you like it, then hey, it wasn't exactly spam. Right. I found great placement for it, but that's putting in that effort to make sure it's in the right um, in the right place. Every TV commercial that ever comes on is spam, basically. Like you are not what you're not watching just for the commercials right? unless this is the Super Bowl. Now you're watching from the commercials. That's not spam. But like putting in that front end um, effort to make sure that where this unexpected message falls, it will actually be re received well that's when it's quality like the bad part from the spam on my end from as like a marketer or if i'm the artist is not that it's bothering people i care less about that part which is okay yeah you don't want to bother people i guess but it's more so it's just a waste of your time and effort if you don't put in that time to find the place that people will receive it yeah you'll probably catch some numbers but the percentage is going to be dramatically lower if i'm spamming 65 year olds and i didn't take the time to realize that these are 65 year olds versus spamming 17 through 20 year olds who like this specific type of music and i know they're in my category is going to have completely different results right and sometimes you can spam people who aren't going to like a message but you're doing it intentionally so you you know that's a whole nother level that will probably be somewhere near level three spamming uh, what i'm what i'm starting to allude to but but it's it's all relative and it's all about once again just taking in that research to figure out where people are going to receive your message both uh, uh receive your message well and then the other thing that a lot of people start to relate when it comes to spam is posting a lot getting in front of people's um face a lot and they, they closely relate that part of spam to saturation but what most people don't realize is yes you can be in front of people and start to get saturated or you can start to feel like you're spamming them and then we have this whole socialization where like we don't want to bother people but the thing is one second but the thing is if you show variety people will far have a high a higher tolerance of you so if i'm just posting the same daggone flyer again and again and again the same music video again and again and again okay they're going to start to drop off on why they care it's still going to start to feel like spam they're going to start ignoring it but if I'm showing something different every single time and if I'm bringing entertainment value to it every time, then people start to become intrigued or 
they feel less um, less put off, right? Um, or they accept it more. They can see that there's work. They see that it's something different. Just like if you think about somebody like Six Nine, right? There's this been a similar period for so many other artists, but that hot moment in that hot moment, people are consuming and seeing him all the time. But it's all this different random entertainment stuff, and they're tuning into it. So it's not the saturation thing. Is all is not about just because you're there. It's about what's happening while people are there, and are you giving people something different? Is there motion and momentum? Because a huge part of brand that goes understated is just the idea of energy and moving forward, whether it's progress because we're growing or whatever kind of progressive storyline is happening, which is a more nuanced part of branding to understand how to communicate that people are attracted to that, to that energy and to see some kind of, some kind of motion versus just stagnation. You're in the same place every time they run past you. If there's always an update to the story, people will tune in just like it's a TV show. That's it for this video right here. Again, you can check out the full thing in brandmannetwork.com where you can also, of course, work on developing your brand, building the true infrastructure you need as a marketer to actually build your fan base. Now, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and like button if you like it. You might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.